1999, Angelina Jolie won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the film Girl Interrupted. The star was Winona Ryder, and this film was supposed to be her Academy Award vehicle. But alas, that was not the case. Angelina Jolie deserved the award, but upon further viewing of this movie, directed by James Mangold, I kept looking at Brittany Murphy. In terms of all the other actresses in the film, she seemed to be scary. I'm not saying scary in a bad way. I'm talking about scary in a good way in terms of just her skill, her acting prowess in the film. Her portrayal of Daisy Randone, a character who has been abused and who hides chicken remnants under her bed. The supposed chickens and chicken remnants are given to her by her father, who is hinted as the one behind her abuse. What scares me about Britney's portrayal of Daisy is that she has this insanely dark and sad quality to her acting. Lisa Rowe, played by Angelina Jolie, likes to torment her throughout the story and is subtly jealous of Daisy. When Daisy manages to be released early from the institution, there is a point in the story that is hard for me to watch because Britney Murphy passed away 10 years later after this film was released. Let me play a portion of the scene here and discuss the aftermath of why the scene entitled My Dad Loves Me scares me and why Britney should have won an award. I thought you didn't do Valium. Tell me how the safety net is working for you. Tell me that you don't. Take that blade and drag it across your skin and pray for the courage to press down. Tell me how your daddy helps you cope with that. Illuminate me. My father loves me. I bet with every inch of his manhood. Oh, God. I'm going to sleep now. Oh. Please be gone in the morning. You're just jealous, Lisa. Because I got better. Because I was released. Because I have a chance. And a life. They didn't release you because you're better, Daisy. They just gave up. You call this a life? Huh? Taking daddy's money, buying your dollies and your knickknacks, and eating his fucking chicken, fattening up like a prize fucking heifer. You change the scenery, but not the fucking situation, and the warden makes house calls. And everybody knows. Everybody knows that he fucks you. What they don't know is that you like it. You like it? Shut the fuck up! But hey, man, it's cool, it's okay. It's fine, it's fucking fine. A man is a dick. Is a man is a dick, is a chicken, is a dad. A valium, speculum, whatever. Hmm? Whatever. You like being Mrs. Randone. Probably all you've ever known, huh? Have fun in Florida. This scene is staged just like a horror scene from the way Lisa looks up at Daisy as a predator. Daisy attempts to defend herself, knowing exactly what's coming from Lisa. Angelina gives a great performance as she systematically breaks down Daisy's sense of pride in having her own home. She twists the knife by saying things like, they gave up on you, and everybody knows. The death blow in this performance is when Lisa says, everybody knows that your dad grapes you. What they do not know is that you like it. Why I feel Brittany should have won an award. Like I said before, Angelina gives a riveting performance as Lisa Rowe. This was stated previously, but what I consistently 
come back to every time I watch this movie is Brittany Murphy's quiet and subdued performance. The way her eyes dart around the room as if to silently look for safety or the realization that what Lisa is saying is true. The way Brittany's voice cracks as she wish, wishes Susanna and Lisa good luck in Florida. It breaks my heart every time because I know as an audience member when Daisy goes upstairs, she is never coming back down. We don't know much about Daisy, only bits and pieces throughout the story. Daisy's barely on screen and the impact that Brittany had on me as a fan and a film critic is indelible. One of my two favorite Brittany Murphy movies is Drop Dead Gorgeous. Kind of like asking why do all the guys took over. How old is going to be again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sing and dance. And her brief role in the martial arts film Drive. Yeah, man. Hi. Oh. oh, man. I'm like glad to see you guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Tell me. How you doing? Which I feel is the better rush hour, but it's open for debate. It's open for debate. Brittany can play the bubbly, adorable, manic girl with a heart of gold better than any actress I know. She would have killed it as Harley Quinn. All right, but I'm getting a little sidetracked. I, the reason why I feel Brittany should have won an award for her portrayal as Daisy Rendon. As an actor, um, I've done a little bit of acting here and there, but as an actor, it's hard to convey a wealth of emotion with as few words, lines, and screen time as possible. I don't mean to discount Winona Ryder or Angelina Jolie's contributions to the film, um, but Angelina Jolie, like I said, she deserved her award. Brittany, strictly from an acting standpoint, is the only actress that I feel that went toe to toe with Angelina Jolie. With the least amount of screen time, lines, as possible, she made every scene memorable. She made every scene count. Her micro expressions alone are powerful and haunting. Every time I watch Girl Interrupted, I skip over the morning after scene. Watching Winona Ryder scream at the sight of Daisy and watching Angelina Jolie condescendingly look at Daisy's body, almost to say, you stupid bitch. Even the buildup of the 1963 song, The End of the World by Skeeter Davis is creepy and too much for me. The lyrics to that song are dark and depressing as well. I don't know if you ever heard the song or read the lyrics, but it, it's creepy. And the way James Mango builds that scene with that song, it's oof. I mean, I'm a fan of horror movies, and I don't know why this scene affects me so much, other than the fact that it feels so real, so hurtful, so depressing and sadistic. Watching someone who loves to torture people and a person who's on the precipice of deleting themselves finally come to terms with, yeah, I'm done with this world. It, like I said, it's just, it's just too heartbreaking. And sidebar, I, I don't mean to go down this route, but I just wanted to just state this, like off the cuff. Um, I want to say if you or anyone you know that's having thoughts of suicide, please call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline and dial 988. It's open 24 hours a day, okay? Um, back to the thing. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I, I'm sorry that I had to end it, the video like this. I was just thinking about Brittany Murphy the other day, and then I watched um, Girl Interrupted not too long ago. And like I said, every time I watch this movie, I'm always just fascinated and haunted by Brittany Murphy's performance. I think I think all the actresses that are in that movie did a great job, but she sticks out so vividly for me. She she combines the the perfect balance of darkness and light, and like when she gets really dark, you can see it. She doesn't have to say it. She it's just in her face. It's just in the way like her voice cracks. You tell that she's in a deep dark hole and no one's coming out. And when she's like really happy, she has a biggest beautiful smile and the, the greatest laugh like you, if you've seen drop dead gorgeous if you've seen drive you, you know the Mur britney murphy laugh it's a great laugh but yeah i i i I'm, I'm sad that she's gone if she was here like i said she would just kill it in any role she'd be the best like harley quinn um she really captured that energy but i really felt that you know she should have deserved something she should have deserved an award or a mention um because being on screen for that least amount of time and just being that memorable, like not a lot of actors can do that um, and make a mark like that. So, yeah, um, like I said, that's all I got. Uh, take care of yourself and take care of your, one another. And that's all I got. Cabs out.